Good morning, I'm Jennifer, this is A Country Life, and we are going to do a get ready with me. I have had a few requests from some women here that watch my channel, wondering about what beauty products I use, things like that. I love makeup. I would not say that I'm a makeup connoisseur by any means, and I feel like I'm gonna get kind of a little echo. I'm in the bathroom, but I don't really know any other better way to film this. Today's get ready with me is going to involve perfume, makeup, and hair. Let's go. First up, I am going to be putting on some perfume. I wanna share with you Dossier Perfumes. This video is in collaboration with them, and they did provide me these perfumes to share with you. All right, let's open these up. Dossier is a company right there. Iconic Sense, designer quality, no markups. They do not have the designer name, commands such high prices. So these perfumes, they are all 50 milliliters, which is, if I'm not mistaken, is that like 1.7? Yes, look at that, 1.7 fluid ounces. And they all range between $29 and $39 a bottle. A neat thing about the Dossier perfumes is that on their website, each perfume um, talks about the different notes that it has. Top notes are the scents that you will smell right away when you first spray it on. The middle notes are kind of after... Um, you know, after an hour or so and the perfume starts to just sort of like settle into your skin, it just changes a little bit. I don't know if you've noticed that with other perfumes. And later in the evening when you notice you can still smell your perfume when you're up close, like if you smell your clothing or something, those are the base notes that are left behind. And each of their perfumes is inspired by a certain high-end fragrance line and so it's kind of nice like if you know that you like a particular perfume you can find one it's not going to smell exactly the same that's not what they're trying to do but they are trying to give you a scent that's inspired by the same notes as a particular designer scent and so today's scents I have for you are Floriental Vanilla and I also have Floral Pink Pepper. Perfume is a pretty personal thing in, in that everyone likes a different style of scent. Some like more floral, some like it more uh, spicy, some like more musky type scents. It was really interesting because I actually put on Floral Pink Pepper. This is the first one that I tried and I really liked this scent. I liked it right off the bat. I liked it as it wore on my skin throughout the day. However, I, <laughs> I have to tell you a funny story. Uh, Warren and I were in his truck. We drove down quick to just pick up the mail the one day when I had tried this out. And all of a sudden he's like, what is that smell? He's like, boy, I'm kind of getting a stomach ache. I just want to be completely upfront with you. Every scent is different. I liked this, Warren did not. Peter absolutely loved this. He came out by me that day, uh, I was doing laundry and he came out and he's like, what is that great smell, mom? Everyone likes something different. What I'm actually gonna be putting on today is Floriental Vanilla. This scent, I absolutely love. Uh, Maria actually commented on this yesterday. She's like, mm, what's that smell, Mom? I said, that's a new perfume I'm trying. She's like, oh, I like it. Warren commented that he liked the scent. And so this is what I'm putting on today. And so far, this is my favorite scent. And this is Floriental Vanilla. And it is inspired by YSL Black Opium Eau de Perfume. This is a neat scent. I always like to spray it on the front and the back. So one neat thing about the Dossier perfumes is that each one comes with a little sample that you can try before breaking the seal on the um, full-size bottle. So you can sample it, try it out. If you don't like it, you can ship it right back to them and uh, you can exchange it for a different scent. So to see all the details about their specials and the pricing and things like that, definitely check out all the information in the description box below. One time saving tip I have for you is to grab out all of the makeup that you are planning on wearing for that particular look for that day because then it just saves you time from digging through every single time you're looking for something. So today I'm going to go with a very, very simple look and I'm going to teach you something that I learned from another um, YouTube channel years ago. In the summer, I just like to keep my makeup pretty light and pretty simple. So the first thing that I like to do is, I like this. This is Infallible Pro Glow. If you are um, starting to approach 50, <laughs> you're probably going to find that you don't really like real matte finishes anymore because your skin maybe is naturally already kind of matte on its own. I like this Pro Glow. It has just a little bit of a shine to it. I, like I said, I'm super simple when it comes to makeup. 
no beauty blenders, even though my daughters are always telling me that I should get one, that I would love it. It just seems like an added step. I know beauty blenders have to be washed every so often. And so this is what I started doing when I was probably 15 <laughs> and it's still working. I like to put foundation on my eyelids as well. I feel like that just helps the eyeshadow to stick better. And I also like to get it just a little bit up into my hairline and really, really blend it in. I just realized that I forgot one thing. And then as I use the item, just right back in the makeup bag. I like using a cream blush. Again, I feel like it just helps my face to have a little bit more of a glow. And although I do use powder as well, but today we're going with this Oleo E Oso, and this is in the color Current. I just put it on and then I just tap it kind of into place, kind of rubbing it upwards because that is a tip I learned on a channel. I don't even know who it was years ago. I clicked on something that said like makeup for women over 45 or something. And they were just saying that when you apply your makeup to put it, apply it from like lower up. And that is supposed to help give you the look of lift rather than if you're always rubbing your makeup downwards and everything, I guess it makes you look droopy. I don't know if it works, but that's what I do. <laughs> okay, next up. This is another tip that I learned years ago. It could have been on that same video about makeup for women over 45. And they were just saying that it's really common that we like to do like three different colors of eyeshadow. That's something I learned from a Mary Kay consultant back in college. You always do like a base color, some other color in the crease, and then maybe a lighter color along the brow bone. And this person was saying that as you age, you don't really want to make that darker line in the crease anymore because anything that you make darker is gonna look like it's sinking in. Anything you put a lighter color on is gonna look like it's popping out. And she was just saying that maybe as you age, you'd prefer your eyes to kind of be popping out. So this Maybelline color is called Linen. And these are like three or $4 at Walmart. And I just have an old Estee Lauder brush here. Literally, I probably have had this brush since probably 1995. <laughs> I know some of you watching my channel have, weren't even born yet. So anyway, I kind of try to put the blush or put the eyeshadow on with the bristles pointing up. Again, just trying to do that upward motion. And today, this is it. This is the only color I'm going to use on my eyes. Just a really light color to help just look kind of like fresh and youthful. Now, this is a newer product. I have not, I honestly don't even know if it's really working yet. This is a pore setter, and I did get this in my Ipsy box, and so I've been trying it for about two weeks now. So when I have just this type of makeup on, no, no um, eyeliner or mascara yet, I shake it up and just spray it on. That is supposed to help to set the makeup. Like I said, I don't know if it's working or not. I haven't noticed a huge difference, but I have it, so I've been using it. I didn't have this out right away, but I just reached in my bag and got it quick. So this is a cold pressed cranberry seed oil. It's made locally. Um, and I just put it on my eyebrows. I'm not, I don't really like to outline my eyebrows and make them look real uh, distinct. I, I'm just not comfortable with that look. I've tried it and you've probably seen it in videos, <laughs> but when I go back to edit, I'm just not comfortable with that. But I do like to get my eyebrows to kind of stand out just a little bit. And once you have like some makeup on it, it kind of um, dulls them. So the cranberry oil I put on there just kind of helps to shine up the eyebrows again. And I do, I've been using it for a couple years now and I do feel like it's actually making my eyebrows a little bit thicker. Now I'm gonna to turn to my mirror instead of looking in the camera and I'm gonna put on black eyeliner. This is an old NYC eyeliner. So for the eyeliner, I like to just put my eyeliner on my top lid and I do like to bring it up just a little bit higher. I almost kind of make like a little triangle out at the edge. So it kind of just comes up a little bit higher and then bring it down to just a really nice thin line. 
in the center. Okay, I hope they're pretty even. I'm going to close my eyes so you can just kind of see. I like to make like that little bit of a point right there and then bring the eyeliner down. Whoops. <laughs> we almost lost a camera. And we almost lost the camera again. For my mascara, I'm using this Victoria Beckham. And this is another product that I got from my Ipsy box. And... I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it because I do have two mascaras that I already like for different reasons, but I gave it a try anyway just because, you know, I got it in the Ipsy box so it was worth trying. And I really, really like this mascara. I'm going to have to go on and see how much it costs to actually buy it, you know, when it's not in an Ipsy box and you're kind of getting that little special deal. But what I like about this, it, it is weird because the uh, little bristles are so tiny, but it actually has fibers in it. So as you put on the mascara it's adding little fibers to your eyelashes and just making them look kind of extra thick and extra long and if I do have time I'll let the first coat dry and then apply another coat over top okay so that's with just one coat there's the mascara and there it is without mascara so you can see it really does add a big difference now we're going to do the lips and so I have a couple things that I've been using a lot lately. This one here is from an Ipsy box, and this is Bare Minerals Sincerity is the color, and it's just a really nice lip gloss. I like the color. It's very much kind of like just already lip color, very easy to wear in the summer. And then I have this one. This is Airy Fairy, and this here is a rim rimmel color and i kind of like to put one on one lip and one on the other and then just kind of rub them together i feel like it gives me a pretty good um nice just soft gentle pink look so all right i'm not sure about lighting in this room but that's it for makeup it doesn't take a whole lot of time it took longer today obviously because i'm talking to you guys about a month ago i picked this up at walmart this is the bedhead wave artist and it looks like this. So it's sort of like a crimper in, in a sense, but instead of making such little V's in the hair, it actually makes like a big wave. So I'm just gonna let this get nice and hot. There is a setting on here. I always make sure it's turned up all the way to high because I have such stick straight hair. I need to, I just need it on high to even <laughs> add any kind of curl and to hold. I actually washed my hair last night and so uh, what I'm going to do here this morning is put in some of this Beach Chick. This is like a, it's almost kind of a salty solution. And it just helps to give some texture because I need that. I have very, very fine hair. So I'm just kind of spraying that in and scrunching up my hair. That adds some, a little bit of volume. Dry shampoo will do the same thing. It'll add good volume and good texture. I'm also now going to put a little hairspray and crunch that up too. Now I'm going to comb through it because I don't want to put curls into my hair when it's not smooth. Otherwise, it'll just kind of give it a very, very messy and sloppy look. I'm going to get my part where I want it today. I decided I need to add some dry shampoo, so I'm just using Batiste. And I just section out my hair, just like you would with any other kind of curling iron or anything like that, and just kind of hold it in place. It kind of starts to smoke, or I don't know. It, you can just see the heat rising. Maybe it's breaking my hair off, I don't know. And then just slide it down, you know, lift it, slide it down. And one more time. All right, so that is it. That is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna go all around the whole head, waving it up, and then we'll style it after that.
So I just kind of tucked my hair back with some bobby pins now because I do like to keep it off my face somewhat. It always gives me a chance too to see if there's some hair I missed. And this is pretty much what I do when I want to get ready in the morning and be just a little bit fancier than a ponytail. <laughs> All right, and that is my summer look here. Uh, do not stop with this video though. You're going to want to look at some other videos here on YouTube. Uh, like whatever your age bracket is, just search that. If you're searching for makeup tips for a particular age bracket, um, just do that. There are so many out there and people that do a whole lot better job than I probably do with Get Ready With Me because this, like, you know, this is not my genre here. I like to be in the kitchen. And thank you again to Dossier Fragrances for partnering with me on today's collaboration. All the links are in the description box below if you want to check out those perfumes for yourself. You guys have a fabulous day. See you in the next video. Bye.